Hi and welcome to another episode of Type With Me. In this episode I want to talk about class decorators and I will tell you a little bit about the basics how to create a class decorator. Let's start. So we have the following code. When we execute this code, we get the following results, do something high service. When I want to create decorator here, class decorator, and just add something like this. And now we can create our decorator, right? So we're going to start with creating a function log that has text string as a parameter. So what we now need to do is return a function like this, right? We have a function which needs to be of this type and it has to have a value of target t. Right? And this function needs to return class that extends target. And in here we can create new functionality, new uh, things to overwrite our function, right? So for example, here we can say that text is over, override. So now here we can very easily override our constructor or add something to our constructor, right? So we have here some arguments. We know what these arguments are, right? And then we can say super args. And then we can say console.log. constructor from decorator text. When we build this, and we execute our code, we get constructor from decorator service A, and then do something high override. And we now create a constructor here. You will see that the first message will be hi from class service and then uh, constructor from decorator with your text. All right. Hi from class service, constructor from decorator service A, and then do something high override. So you can do very nasty stuff with a class decorator. It's cool to play around with it and try to build your own class decorators, right? Within Angular 2, the ng module and the uh, component decorators are being constructed like this. It's always nice to have some kind of background around that, right? Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot and that you are eager to write your own class decorators.